Nothing says crazy Spider-Man stories like the Spider-Clone saga, and one of the characters that came out of that storyline is the Scarlet Spider, which is, you know, considering his origins, is actually a pretty cool character. What is going on Draw2 Crew? Ramney here with a brand new drawing tutorial for you guys and today I'm going to be showing you how to draw the Scarlet Spider which appears as a costume in the game Spider-Man for, for the PS4 which is actually out today. Before we start you guys, if you're brand new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you're notified anytime I upload a brand new video. Here in this channel, I help you develop your drawing skills by showing you how to draw your favorite characters from movies, TV shows, video games, comic books, etc. I'm going to post a link to a video below that shows you all the different costumes that appear in the game. Uh, so you can check that out. One of my favorite ones is this costume right here. There's also the uh, ghost spider. That one is one of my favorites as well. But anyway, this is going to be the last Spider-Man related tutorial that I'm going to be doing for now um, because I do want to move on to other things. We have been drawing Spider-Man for the past couple of like days, uh, weeks. So when the Venom movie comes out, I'll do more Spider-Man characters, specifically the villains. And when the movie Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse comes out this year as well, uh, I'll be doing more Spider-Man then. So this is going to be a Spider-centric last part of the year. And I'm actually really excited because Spider-Man is one of my favorite characters. Anyway, are you guys ready to draw? Here are the tools that you're going to need for this tutorial. If you want more information about my art tools, I have a list that you can check out in the description of this video. There are three things that you guys need to keep in mind as you're watching this video. If you're a subscriber, you already know the drill, but if not, you can pause it now to read this list of things that you should know before you begin. Having said all of that, you guys, grab your drawing tools. Let's get started with the tutorial. All right, you guys, let's get started with our tutorial on the Scarlet Spider. I've got my paper in portrait mode this time where he's going to be swinging and we're going to be drawing him full body. And let's go ahead and get started by drawing a circle kind of to the right of center. And I'm going to draw it about this small. This is going to be a fairly small head because we're going to be trying to fit all of his body parts within our sheet of paper. So there you go. Now, this is going to be based off of a sketch by Mark Bagley. So he's one of uh, the most prominent or more well-known Spider-Man characters or Spider-Man artists. Uh, he did the ultimate Spider-Man. He's really well-known for that one. All right, so I'm going to draw the lines on the side now. And what I'm going to do is draw this line that's a little closer to the right. And then I'm going to bring these two lines in like this. Okay, so you've got our head like that. Okay, so you can see that it's sort of facing um, this direction right here, just like that. All right, so there's our head. Now let's draw a little bit of the neck going down and also from here, a little bit forward like this. Okay, and then the neck again is gonna be forward. Just gonna draw a faint, just a tiny little line there as well. Okay, now what we're going to do is gonna draw the shoulder and the shoulder is gonna be right here. It's gonna be an oval. I'm going to draw it lightly. Try to draw everything lightly. Okay, right here is going to be the side of the chest. And I'm just going to draw it like that. And then on this side, kind of along where the jaw is, here's the little jaw part, side of the face, and here's where the jaw begins. I'm going to draw a circle, half circle right here. So as you guys can see, his shoulders go this way, and then he's got his body. I'm going to draw right here, actually. He's going to have his body going this way. So it's going to be, he's going to have his body kind of going down. He's got his uh, knee going up and the knee going down this way as well. Okay. So let's kind of draw how we want the body to go. So here's kind of, let me fix that. Where, how we want the, the center line of that body to go. So it's going to go like this. Okay. Okay. So here's our chest. We're going to bring that down going this way. And then right here, so if I were to draw a line here, we're going to find like this square. So think of this as a square right here, except it gets narrower on this side, on these two sides. That's going to be the pretty much the, the torso. Okay. And a little bit lower than that, I'm going to draw the belt line. All right. There you go. Now let's uh, draw the lower part of that belt line. And we're good for now. So that is 
it's a, you can tell, as you can tell, the, the body, the torso is fairly short and it's fairly square. So keep that in mind, you guys might even need to bring it a little more, uh, a little more square than this, to be honest. So there you go. That is how you do it. Here's the chest. The chest kind of goes from here to there. It's going to look like that. And if I were to erase this line here, we can sort of draw the center line for the chest. It's going to go here and down like this. Okay, and then the chest goes up like this. So here, now you can see there's the chest. Of course, you don't really see the actual chest because he wears kind of like a looser fabric. The, uh, the hoodie part is a little bit more loose and not um, fitting to the body. Now, let's kind of start figuring out where the arms are going to go. And I want this one to go this way. Okay, and then this one is going to go kind of in. So it's going to go in like this and then going to come out this way, right, like this. So what we're going to do, we're going to start here. I'm going to kind of draw the forearm. We're going to assume that the bicep is going to be tucked in behind the shoulder here. So there's the bicep. You don't really see much of it. Okay, there's the forearm right there. Here is the his gauntlet, his wrist gauntlet. Okay, and then the hand is going to come out over here. So let me zoom in and let's work on that hand. And what we're going to see is we're going to see these two bumps right here, this one and this one. So it kind of creates this shape right here. Okay, so this goes out, this goes out like that. So it kind of makes this butt shape, I guess you can say. Okay, and then the, this goes, this goes sharp turn, like this, and then another sharp turn like this. There's your thumb. Okay, and then this goes this way. One, two, three, four. So let's just do it like that for now. So you got four bumps for each of the fingers. Don't worry about it for now. We'll worry about it later on. Okay. So he's going to be holding on to um, some some spider web webbing. Okay. Now let's shape this shoulder here so that it sort of points a little more towards this angle. Okay. So there's that. And then again, there's the bicep and a tricep. You want it skinny. Spider-Man, even Spider-Man clone Ben Riley, this Scarlet Spider, is a clone of Peter Parker, so he's a fairly skinny guy. You don't want to draw the biceps too big. Okay, and then the forearm. Let's uh, give him a bit of a, like a, a, a bend in the elbow. So here's your forearm. Don't make the forearm too big, so it goes narrow, wide, narrow again. Okay, right around here, we've got a wrist gauntlet. Okay, and then here, we're going to point it down. And this goes out like this. Down, out, down. Okay, and then this goes in. Down. And then just close it like this. So that's going to be the other arm. Okay. There you go. Zooming out, that is what it looks like. So let's try to fit his legs now into this spot here. I'm going to draw the belt a little bit longer. You can see that it's made of capsules and the capsules stick out the sides. Okay, so just beneath the belt, we're going to draw the underwear line. So it's gonna kind of look like that. He's gonna be straddling, so his legs are gonna be kind of spread out. Now, we're gonna to try to fit one leg into here. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this up and forward like this. Okay, and this is where we want the knee, right here. Okay, so it's a bit of a curve right here. So here you see a little bit of a bend at that spot there. Okay, so just beneath here's the crotch line. We're going to draw a line going like this. Okay, it goes pretty much straight. A little bit of a bend like this maybe. There you go. This goes up like this, down, and then into the knee. So you guys notice that it sort of creates this uh, bend right there. And that is going to be four. Okay, go back to the knee, line parallel to this. Okay, here's the uh, gastroc muscle, which is the largest part of the calf muscle. Okay, and then it just goes flat against that foot. We're going to continue it to here. So 
and then we're going to draw the foot right here. So right in the middle of the crotch, draw a line going down, slightly slanted to the left, down like this. Okay, and now this is going to be your foot. So here, wide, and then there's the foot right there. Okay, so just close this off. There's going to be um, an ankle gauntlet or an anklet right here. So just make that a bit thick. And there you go. So there's one leg right there. You can actually continue this line going in and into the crotch here. And then here, make this one a little bit more smooth. And there you go. So nothing too drastic. And then again, from the knee right around here, bring that out like that. Okay, very good. So now let's do the same thing on this side. Let me bring this up. Okay, we're gonna find a curve here and then we're gonna make our foot go down. So he's gonna be, he's got his legs spread open. Okay. So here's the bend in that, in that foot here. And then here's the knee right around here. Okay, so this goes this way goes in and then down towards the knee. So you see a bit of a bend right in the center of the of that uh, thigh. Okay, so here is our underwear. Right about halfway. Find sort of where it goes like this. So find this spot here and just make this curve connect it like this. So that's going to be part of a leg or that's part of the muscle there. Okay, and then right here, just above the kneecap, right there, this is gonna be, it's gonna go in, and let's have it go out right around here. Oh. Not too much. So there's just, just like that, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're gonna figure out where the foot goes first. And so here we already have like this foot already drawn, so that's not a problem. Now let's draw the other foot kind of right beneath it. I'm going to start with the heel. And then let's zoom in. Two lines going this way. Okay, again, they kind of both go out and there. So they sort of come to a point right here. So that's going to be the other foot there. And now we're going to connect this to the knee like that. And then right here, think of this as a curve. And then here's the small part of the lower foot. And then right here is where I want to draw the wrist uh, or the, the, the anklet, ankle bracelet, kind of just covering the um, ankles even. There you go. So once you have that, you guys, there is our Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man pose right there. It's not hard. It's a little bit tricky. But once you got it, it looks good. You're good to go. Uh, I find my legs are a little bit too big, so I might have to adjust, um, adjust the torso a little bit just to compensate for that. And what I'm going to do also is I'm going to make the head a little bit bigger just to compensate for the size of the... Uh, of the legs. I find the I made the legs a little too large here and that's that's fine. That's kind of how the drawing process is. You have to make sure that you get all the right proportions before you start adding in a lot of the detail. So there you go. I'm just readjusting everything which isn't that big of a deal. It's not the end of the world. It's better to catch your you know mistakes in the uh, early on in the process rather than at the end. Right, so there you go. There's our Spider-Man pose. We are ready to uh, zoom in and start working on the actual Scarlet Spider costume. So let's go ahead and zoom in now. I'm going to start with the head or the face, which is very simple. And I already erased this part, so I'm not worried about that. What we're going to do is I'm going to draw kind of like the eye line right here. I want him looking straight ahead. And I'm going to draw two lines here and here. We're going to start off with those lines 
and then kind of work my way from the center going outward. Okay, the bottom first. Right here, two lines going down, so you have these two kind of spiky parts there. Okay, and then this goes out, and this goes up like that. And now this goes rounded up. Now Scarlet Spider is not known for his webbing. He doesn't have any webbing in his um, costume. So here you go. So you, we're bringing the eyes up, and the, and the eyes are also known for being pretty big. Especially Mark Bagley's designs, or his art, just, he just draws eyes huge. Okay, so we leave this curve right here, this curves up, and we leave a little spiky point up here at the top. Okay, and we do the same thing here, and there you go. There is our Scarlet Spider Mask. Of course, I'm going to erase the center line because he does not have any webbing whatsoever, which makes him a little bit easier to draw, to be honest. There you go. Okay, now let's draw the torso or the the, uh, the hoodie. And we're going to draw the outside of the hoodie first, or the the what do you call it, the lines that kind of wrap around the shoulders. So here, now it gets a little bit loose. And uh, a lot of people draw this, interpret it differently. I'm going to interpret it as uh, slightly frayed, but not fully ripped. Okay, so just a little bit ripped, but not too much. So some lines kind of going like that. Okay, so we've got these wrinkle lines kind of going up and down. Let me bring the armpit hole a little bit lower. Okay, so you guys see what I did there? And you notice that I made it a little bit bigger than the actual torso. Okay, so there's that part. The other parts right here, I'm going to kind of cover up with the hole for the head. So there you go, there's the hole for the head right there. So I'm just gonna draw these lines that sort of go from the front to the side there. Okay, and then on this side, uh, this, let's make this go underneath the head. So let's make these lines sort of go right here is good. Okay, so you guys notice that he's, he's swinging this way so his fabric is kind of pushing back uh, against his skin this way, or against his body this way. So you got the hoodie kind of doing this on this side. Okay, here we have the chest. Let's work on that, uh, this line right here. Um, again, a little bit of a fraying, but not too much. There you go. So it's not, it's not very obvious on this side. And there you go. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to draw the fabric around his body. So it's going to be above his waist. His waist is right here, right? It's covered by the belt. And we're going to draw this one a little bit more frayed. I'm going to use some tissue paper to wipe off excess. Um, right here, it's going to be... You notice these zigzag patterns there to show like there's fabric there and then some wrinkles going in above the belt. And then I'm going to fray this. And then I'm going to leave like a... The fabric kind of going out like this, kind of like ripped fabric. There you go. Okay, so this goes. Actually, that that was pretty good. Let's draw that in. Draw the fabric going in this way. And if we erase the center, we should have a canvas for the Scarlet Spider emblem. There you go. Okay, and then the the actual emblem itself is going to be diagonal, like this. So first, I'm going to draw the head as an oval. Almost like a diamond shape. And then the body's gonna be like this bottle shape or like another diamond shape going down like this. Okay, so like arrowheads essentially. The body is longer than the top. You could even say it's a bowling pin. Okay, so now we're going to like the, the legs are gonna come out from the um, the center where the head and the body meet here. And we're gonna start off small. Let's draw the inside ones first. So there's these two. Okay, they come out and then they curve inward towards the head like this. 
Okay, and then the next ones are gonna come out lower down. This is gonna be the in, inner legs as well. So this goes in, and then they go in like this. Try to make it as parallel as you can. Okay, now let's do the these two. So then make another V here and another V right here. Okay, and this goes like this. Very stylized. And you notice that it sort of creates this, like this oval shape almost. Like here's the head and it creates these oval shapes like this. So together it makes an oval shape. Can you guys see that there? There you go. And then this part, pretty easy. Just bring it, curve it in and bring it down like that. So as you go, try to like make this point the longest point and imagine these two kind of just coming together to that point right there at the butt part. Okay, there you go. So there is our Scarlet Spider. It's kind of did it roughly, but if you take your time on this and like work at it so that you've got like the size of the legs a little bit more even unlike mine here you can make it even more symmetrical too there's our scar scarlet spider uh emblem logo right here okay so there you go and there you go so there's our hoodie let's just draw the hoodie in the back now the actual hood part is up here and let's bring it out like this okay so here's the actual hoodie part bring this out this way there you go bring it it's got like this lip right here and then this goes out and then down curved and then goes in again so there's the actual hood Gonna work on it and try to get it as nice as we can here and there you go okay and don't forget he does have these strings and let's kind of make it so that the strings uh, fill out this empty space here so here's the one drawstring here and then the other drawstring let's just make it come out like that there you go Zooming out, you guys, all we really need to do is just start shaping the body like this because the Scarlet Spider's costume is not quite, uh, um, it's not detailed or anything. So all we really need to do is just work on uh, giving his muscle some definition. So if I erase this, you guys can see that I'm giving definition to the shoulders here. I have a definition to the side. That's for the tricep and then we got the biceps here, all right? Okay, and then you've got the forearms here. Going down the center. There you go. Not too detailed either. There you go. And then over here, these capsules are like, imagine these um, medicine capsules or, or yeah, like these yeah, medicine capsules is like the best way to describe them, but they look like this, all next to each other. And they wrap around the wrist all the way to the other side. There you go. Okay, now let's work on the hand. Nothing much to it. It's just to create a little bit of a line right here. And on this side, you got the finger, knuckle, you know, so there's the other knuckle there. And then the other knuckles, you don't really get to see much. And we're going to have some webbing kind of come out right here. And we're going to connect this webbing to that. And you can use a ruler for that one if you want to. Okay. Um, but for the most part, the rest of the webbing kind of goes out of frame over here on the other side. Okay, right here, let's not forget the shoulder part, the top of the, oops, 
yeah, right there. I just drew that line there. Okay, let's continue, you guys. Let's go on this side now and let's do the same thing. Nothing much to see. There's the shoulder here, and then you got a little bit of the bicep kind of showing up. You guys can see here's the bicep here, and then here's the forearm, and then we've got the capsules right here. You guys can see that the capsules stick out of the forearms quite quite significantly right here and right here okay here we go now we've got the other hand so here's our thumb and here's the other uh, other side of the palm there and then here you got the ring finger or the index finger I'll make that the biggest finger I'll make these two smaller and then I'll make this one I'll make it stick out so it does look like he's going like this even in a wrist position so here you go and then these two just going in like this so you guys can see that it's sort of going kind of like this it's hard for me to make out but that's kind of what I'm trying to do here and then now what I'm going to do we've got a long ruler is I'm going to draw just some lines from here to here If you guys don't have a ruler, of course, you could just all do this by hand. I'm just going to draw that as a guide, and then I'm going to draw the rest by hand because I prefer I prefer hand-drawn. I like the organic look of hand-drawn, okay? There you go. So there's our Spider-Man webbing, and then we've got it. Let's have it come out the other end here, like right here, and then out, and then behind the head maybe like that. So some slack right there. It's taut here. And then, uh-oh, my apologies. There you go, you see it now? It curves up into the eyes like this, behind the head, and it comes out of the other side of the head like that, okay? Before I draw the details on the webbing, I'm going to finish off the rest of the body. And we're pretty much done. Let's just add some details to it. So here is, right in the center of the belt, I'm going to draw a circle, and then right along here, I'm gonna start here and here. Those are going to be the beginning of the capsules. So let me draw the belt going into the circle here like this. Okay, there you go. And then now let's draw the capsules. For these ones, of course, you don't see the top and the bottom. They're, they're covered. Okay. So I'm just sectioning these off. There you go. And there, and here. So you just keep going, you guys. And remember that it does stick up the sides. So don't be afraid of just like bringing it all the way out and then have it sort of wrap around to the back. There you go. And then you've got the, the rip of the, the um, hoodie just over, over that. Okay, I'm going to draw another circle right here. There you go. So you got two circles there. Okay, now let's zoom out. All we really need to do, you guys, is just to outline this, make it darker, and try to get those lines as neat as you can. And then just figure out the um, ankle, ankle strap. And it's just essentially like these two lines in the center here so that it divides the top and the bottom equally. So it looks like this. Okay, and there is like a pouch right here, and I'm just going to draw it as a, a shadow, like a bit of a rectangle sticking out. So that's going to be the pouch there. And then over here, here's our little ankle thing, wraps around. Okay, I'm going to draw the top. This is the top. Let me fix that up. There you go, and then here's the side there. or sorry, the line going down the center that divides it into two. So you guys can see it's divided into two sections. And then we'll just draw right here. It's just gonna be the little pouch that comes out the other side. Okay, let's zoom out of this. Let's remove this underwear, because he's really not wearing underwear, but we can draw some wrinkly lines here. So wrinkly lines there, there you go. 
but not fully. Don't draw it all the way. Just hints of it. Okay. And then just outline. Try to get those lines darker now. There you go. And commit to those lines, essentially. I'm gonna draw a little wrinkle there. And then the last part is the other leg. There, okay. Essentially close this off and then this part right here is also closed off and then And then just draw the foot Okay, there you go zooming out there's our scarlet spider and all we really need to do is just add like the little bits of detail uh, Spaghetti webbing, I guess you could say just going around the webbing. So I've layered I drew a bunch of lines on the webbing to give it give it depth and then I'm just gonna have these random lines that zigzag kind of around the webbing here in a random fashion and then I'm gonna have it go around actually you know what I think it might be even slicker if we have that string go behind him instead of the front so look it looks like it looks cooler because he's got like He's, he's holding on to it from behind. Okay, so here you go. And then up over here. All the way to the tip here. And then just make sure that when you're drawing this string here that you're not you, you don't try not to intersect with the webbing just to make it less confusing. Okay, there you go. And let's zoom out now because we are finished. That is how you draw the Scarlet Spider, which is another uh, costume that you will see in the Spider-Man PS4 game. And there it is. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching these tutorials. I'll have more Spider-Man related tutorials when the Venom movie comes out and Into the Spider-Verse comes out in December. So stay tuned. I will draw more Spider-Man stuff a little bit later on, but uh, thank you so much for watching uh, this video series on Spider-Man PS4. I'll catch you in my next tutorial. And that is all the time that we have today. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the very end of this video. I hope your drawings turned out great. If they did, I would love to see them. So please head on over to the Google Plus community, post your artwork there for people to enjoy, or post it on Instagram and tag me at draw2 so that I can see your artwork. If you are curious about the equipment that I use to make my videos or to do my tutorials, I have a list of that in the description of this video. So make sure to check that out there. I have a list of pencils that I use, camera equipment, uh, erasers, colors, and all that stuff. So definitely check it out if you are interested. If you guys did enjoy this tutorial, it would help me a great deal if you, number one, like this video, comment it down below, share this with your friends in social media, and of course, subscribe. All of that in the description of this video. Make sure to check that out. And speaking of social media, don't forget you guys can find me on Facebook, on Instagram, Google+, and most importantly, on my website, draw2.com, where you can download a free coloring page of this tutorial right here. Links again in the description. So always make sure to read that description, you guys. And once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I will catch you in the next one. And till then, stay tuned for more so you can learn to draw too. Take care.